This is just a quick update on the uh, <coughs> ECAT, which is uh, developed by Andrea Rossi in Bologna, Italy. Um, I think uh, Gerald Salenti also pointed about out about this back in early 2011, and there was a test done in front of about 30 scientists publicly would film again on October 6th. Um, this is the official site e-catworld.com and uh, I've been keeping updated on this because uh, I heard about these things and you know free energy for decades and have never come true but it looks like this is looking real. Um, of course I'm sure he's up against some uh, formidable enemies though. Um, he's talking about uh, he's gonna have this thing in production. It's the last test um, and here he's talking in reply is uh, you know it replied to one of the questions about cold nuclear fusion, which he calls LEN R, LEN low energy nuclear reactions, um, or the ECAT is energy catalyst. It's uh, plugged in, heated up. The catalyst is heated up, and it self runs. And it makes steam, and uh, it can run a Stirling engine. To just give you an idea, a Stirling engine is like a extremely reliable engine that's been around since. Originally 1816, developed it by a Scottish inventor. Uh, it was a closed cycle air engine in 1816. Um, this thing is, you know, <laughs> it'd be great if it works because using these type of engines, they're extremely reliable as long as you could find a way to heat the water up. And it looks like this ECAT is doing a thing, doing a job. No electronics, no pollution, just power. And uh, that would revolutionize not only the uh, generation of electricity, which can be done on individual homes. It would revolutionize transportation, manufacturing, you name it. Um, but he says after the 28th, which is the 28th of October, uh, he's going to test for a, a U.S. customer. After that, no more public test. We'll be too engaged to manufacture and test for our customers. We'll continue research and development work with Bologna University and Uppsala University, but the work will not be public. Actually, also the test for the 29th, 28th will not be public, being the test made for a customer with his experts along with a contractual protocol. Anyway, it will be the last work with the public with a public report made upon the resulting numbers. In other words, he's just getting this out there and people are going to use it and that's going to be the test. Um, as far as uh, you know, the price, it's going to be about $2,000 or 1,500 euros, maybe a little more than $2,000. His target price is 500 euros per one kilowatt of output of energy. And the total cost of producing one kilowatt of energy is going to be one cent a kilowatt versus I think normal electricity is about 15 cents a kilowatt. Um, but he's also saying if the commercial prices, you know, may drop considerably, it might go down to $500 for a three kilowatt unit. So you're talking about, you know, what revolutionized all of civilization was industry, which ran off of crude oil, coal, and things like this. And if this is a new source of energy that's going to be super cheap, it's going to revolutionize just how everybody lives. It's going to be, it could be put to good use, but I got a, almost a guarantee, um, you know, people have to have protect the revenue stream and the oil industry and whoever's in established that has their own revenue stream is going to do everything in the world to try to stop this. So, uh, <laughs> might be a little cynical, but when I'm looking at oil prices, I think they're going to continue to keep going up and up and up, and um, we not we might not see this overnight. Although if a lot of public gets behind this, I would think this is something better to get behind besides than all Occupy Wall Street because uh, Wall Street is nothing but paper, electrons, and everything. This is real. This is what makes people live. This is what makes people wealthy in a true sense. Uh, lower and lower energy costs. Um, as far as uh, Forbes, uh, they got an article on it, which was uh, pretty interesting. Um, you know, it's 
it's like you know if it does work it's going to be ultra cheap energy it will transform the will transform the world uh you bet it definitely would um from every aspect and um as far as uh, it being real i don't see how they're going to stop this guy he looks like he's almost ready he's he's just going right for uh, the jugular and getting it out and getting it right out to the people and he's not trying to get in through a factory and have it installed in some giant plant that requires the government approval a utility company he's selling it to individuals like a Henry Ford would sell a Model T and uh, that's what the first units are going to be doing they're going to be powering uh, actually homes uh, with a sterling steam engine I guess attached to the device that you know the device heats up the steam and then it can reproduce, it'll produce electricity from there. Um, but as far as the adaptations of this unit, it's going to be beyond uh, <laughs> unbelievable. But uh, I'm pretty cynical about this. I think this guy's legit. I think he actually has the technology. Um, this hopefully gets more and more in public eye because. Uh, as far as throwing a monkey wrench in the elite's plans, this this particular thing, with this this invention would do it. Uh, because when you're talking about paper money, I mean, people have the idea of buying silver, right? Silver has a utility. Well, this device has a utility too, and uh, this would be a very, very, very smart investment if you can get your hands on one that works. Um, but anyway, I think people should pay attention to this and, uh, you know, give it some kind of support, you know, if, if they could. Because I think this is going to be a major revolution in the world as far as a good thing. And uh, just remember, humankind progressed for the last hundred years because of oil energy. And oil was cheap and it's getting more and more expensive. If this guy has something here, I think he does. I don't think this is BS in any fashion at all because he's going to get this out to customers and I just hope he doesn't get stopped because uh, it's the best idea in the world.